Hello, my name is Michael Nimas and today I want to unbox for you the Alfa Romeo Tipo 33, which was raced in this short tail configuration in 1970. The kit was produced from fine design models a few years ago, we will see which year it was exactly. And we can definitely say that this is a very rare kit, so hard to find anywhere. Here on the bottom graphic, which was made by Karl-Heinz Hornberg, we can see that Pierce Garage and Andre de Ademich were racing this car in Sebring 1970. Also on the box is a graphic that shows the car from Stommelen and Gully, which also raced in this year. And here on the other side, the car from Gregory and Hesemanns, which was completely red. The scale of this slot body kit is 1 to 24 and when we have a look on the plan directly we see that this model was made in 2009 and also the master was made by Karl-Heinz Hornberg and we see that the decals are made by Kurt Graf which is indeed the best company in the world for doing these decals. The plan shows very good how everything can be mounted together. Also here we can see that there are decals for different helm designs which is very nice and when we have a closer look we see that the detail level of the slot body kit is very high and comparable to the best uh, display model kits on the market. Let's go directly to the body. We have here a PU body which is made out of a special material which is a little bit flexible which is very special. You can see it here a little bit that it's possible to bend it. The surface quality is extremely high like on a plastic molded kit. The details everything is given here. We have the rivets, we have the holes for the rivets, we have the air ins, air outs and we can say that the proportions of this body are perfect. We can just say really perfect it's uh, yeah it's re replacing really the the shape of the the real car and we know that everything is made by hand here so there was no cat designing here everything was made by hand this is outstanding we have here a little visor for the helmet we have the vacuum formed front lights we also have a vacuum formed cockpit which is very detailed so if you spend time and do a nice painting job you will get a very good result. We see here that it fits extremely good into the body as we know from this kit that this is in a range of just a few tenths. We have in this little bag the lamps, the front lamps, both and I have to unpack them for you because they are very special because you can see here that they have a chrome base and then the glass is on top which is outstanding from the look. The same here, okay one came off so we see it here, we can see the lens effect, very nice. We also got here the rear lights which need to be painted. Here we have the bag with a lot of smaller parts. The rear wing which is very fragile, this need to be glued in the correct position. We have a shaped driver, 
that fits exactly into the cockpit when everything is cleaned up. We have the rear section, the base for the gearbox and a lot of other units. We have the seat belt made of cloth. We have the rims or the inserts for the rims. This is for 15.3 mm aluminium rims. We have the roll cage which is made not just round but oval like the real one. We have the exhaust pipes, the helmet where we can see that the visor will fit perfect on this. We have air ins, the dashboard, the steering wheel, the shifter which is extremely fragile. We have a lot of meshes for the air ins. Then for the cook cockpit we have here a hood. This comes to the rear. This is the coverage for the rear section over the gearbox. And a little bit more of little parts and wires that need to be added here. Here we have the windscreen that comes in here. Directly we can see it fits without any problems, so it just needs to be cut it out and then it's in. We have PU tires with the correct dimensions and with the structure of the tires of these time. So you will see here that the proportions are correct and nice. Here we see the etching parts. Everything is given here what is needed. So we have the seatbelt dashboard, we have lockers, we have the mirrors, we have the meshes for the air ins and very nice, I hope you can see it, we have here an Alfa Romeo sign which can be worked out very fine and autistic. Here we have the decal sheet where it's possible to do free versions and the quality is extraordinarily high so um, everything is sharp, crisp and nothing needs to be cut out because it's already uh, made um, that it just need to be cut out roughly, put into water and then you can add it to the car. Yeah, so I hope I could give you a nice insight into this kit which is so rare and where it's possible to build up a very nice model. If you want to see models of a built up car of that, you can go to my Facebook site Nemo's Race Cars and there you will also find pictures of the 1 to 24 scale fine design model I built up 2009. I hope you liked this video, please feel free to follow me, give me a like or dislike and we see us next time.